Hey, how are ya? We're gonna make a low mosey type beat. So kind of like a fast paced, you know, fast paced drums, uh, faster tempo and uh, super fun melodic sound. Uh, we're gonna start with a sample from Splice here. If you don't know what Splice is, go to uh, click the link below in the description. Uh, it's a referral link so that you can, uh, you know, you get a membership with Splice, but basically eight bucks a month, you get a hundred sounds, like all these different loops and stuff and uh, you can sample them and you can use them in your own beats and repurpose those beats and sell the beats. Or if you're making your own songs like I am, then you can you know put the songs on Spotify, Apple and all that. So Splice is sick. But I got this uh, sample from Splice. I'll play it for you. I love this. Uh, uh, and no matter, I do what I want, no one can fucking tell me. I'm a fun and I'm a to money, I'm finale. I don't know, you know what I mean? Like that's just what I'm... <laughs> <laughs> fucking feeling so i'm gonna actually all you have to do is drag it right into splice and i'm gonna put import um i have to go change the oh no there it is okay change it cool so let me delete this uh let's go ahead and play it sweet i'm super excited about this here's what i'm gonna also do so i'm gonna keep this here i want to show you guys something really dope so uh, if you don't know what arcade by output, you got to get arcade by output. You click below again for a uh, uh, affiliate for that affiliate link for that. But it's really cool. So like, right this second, like I could literally just leave this if I wanted to. So sick. Um, let me do something else too. Actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually take this. I'm gonna actually bounce this in place. Basically what I just did there was like, now I can edit this. So I'm gonna say sample underscore VIP. So now I can edit this without it editing, changing the original sample. I'm gonna hit the scissors. So I have my, my new bounce in place selected. I'm gonna hit file. I'm gonna go to functions. I'm gonna hit reverse. <laughs> I like that a lot. Like, cause here's the deal, right? Like I could literally just like keep that there and I can use it legally. But the, you know, the thing is like, <clears throat> sometimes I do that by the way, but other times it's like another artist could just grab this and use the exact same thing. So I'm going to, right. I'm going to reverse it. Um, and what the, here's, I'm going to show you the next thing. So this is a really cool thing about arcade. Arcade is sick. Um, because it has all these different like loops that you can use. Like I'll, I'll, we'll show you that in a second. I don't want to go too far off, but I'm going to click your stuff. I'm going to go back to splice. This is so cool. I'm going to take the actual sample we had. And I'm going to drag it into Spl uh, arcade and I'm going to let it go. I don't know why it does that. Like there's the original. Okay. So check it out. So we're going to hit, uh, I don't know why it does that, but yeah, we'll hit generate kit. And basically what arcade does, this is oh, so fucking sick. Arcade chopped up that loop for me. So I don't know if you, I mean, look, if you're like a new logic user, like if you're like a new, like beat, oops, sorry. If you're like a new beat maker, then like maybe that's not that special. But if you're someone who's been making beats for a while and you're like always going through that time, like, that trouble of sampling, like bro, I just saved you a lot of time. Arcade's ten dollars a month. It comes with tons of different loops that you can use, um, and basically what they've done is they've turned loops into MIDI. Kind of hard to. I'll show it to you. I might show it to you in this beat, but it also has that sampler in there. So literally, like, check it out. Like, I'm gonna play. gotta be it cool okay Whew. okay so why am i eqing this way what you need to think about what 
you'll want to think about when you're when you're uh, what you'll want to think about when you are making beats is is okay. So like I I'm I'm the vocalist as well. I don't, like see I don't know who's watching this. You might just be a beat maker. You might be a vocalist. You might be a mix engineer wanting to make beats. I don't know, but you want to have the EQ ready to fit for the vocals. Um, this range right here isn't necessarily the vocal. The vocal is gonna kind of sit more in this maybe. 1k to 4k ish range maybe um this is gonna be like we're gonna take it out of the vocal and have maybe the high-end hi-hats or the hats and then this 20 to like 200 is like the low end like the kicks and the 808 so we don't need that for this instrument like i know that if you take this high end and it, the high end in that sounds good but I want to take it out to leave room for other stuff. It's not like that sounds bad. And then the thing I'm going to do after that is I'm going to right click. And once I've committed to that ID, I'm going to bounce it in place. I'm going to just go chopped sample. I always like to bounce things in place. It saves CPU. Now I don't have that EQ taking up my computer um, space. Sweet. All right, I'm gonna go with, um, I'm gonna do another melody now. Um, I'm going to use, actually, hmm. yeah, I'm gonna go with Nexus. Nexus is amazing. If you have the money, go buy it. I'm gonna find a piano, we're gonna layer it. By the way, I don't know if you listen to Lil Mosey. If you don't, you should. He's tight. I have noticed instruments that I'm like, in his music, I've heard instruments where I'm like, hey, that's Nexus. Like, I don't know. I've, I've been using Nexus for years, so I know what it sounds like. So I'm like, hey, that's Nexus. songs. just thing where I hit command K I want to pull this up and show you like what it is I'm playing yeah so F major is and I was playing like like that chord and it didn't sound like it went really well with the sample that doesn't like it doesn't go well so I was like well what are the notes I ended up finding like so D, E, um, G, and A. Like, trust me, don't worry. Don't get scared. We're not doing too much music theory. Um, but I'm like, okay. Now I'm thinking we might be in D minor. By the way, D minor is the relative minor of F. So this sample is probably an F minor or D minor. So something like that. So
I could go with a crazy ass melody like Or I could go simple Something I think I'm gonna go more simple exactly what I'm gonna fucking do check this out all right so I'm gonna go so I'm gonna actually use this for the hook because I fuck with this and I kind of feel like what I'm playing is like not as cool in a, in a way but that's cool it doesn't matter So I'm going to go sample original chorus and then sample reverse will be verse. I'm going to go sample. I'm going to go verse two. This is kind of interesting. I'm like doing that. And then this is going to be verse one. Verse one. So I'm kind of like prearranging the beat. Noise. Uh, I'm gonna bounce this in place. Keep it simple. We're gonna go drums next. And we're gonna actually just go ahead and use the fucking sample that we. Uh, that's hilarious. We're gonna just stick with this fucking sample. Okay. Drums. Um, Nexus actually has some insane drums. We're gonna use those. Uh, I just go to drums and. Where are they? I like demo drums one. I like to. I don't know why I like to have this keyboard here. So you. Let's find the snare. Fucking. Trying to find a snare. There we go. I layered these two. I'm gonna hit Command D, and that duplicates it. So now we still have the, and I'm gonna throw. Just finding a hi hat. Oh my God, sorry. This is called note repeat. I'm going hella fast. So note repeat. I hit. Sh um, oh yeah, fucking dude, I forgot. So note repeat, right? So. Right now, my finger is individually hitting this, but when I hit note repeat, I can just hold it down once. And it does it. Check it out. 
See, I'm holding it as opposed to, right? So here's how you do it. Go to Logic Pro, you go to Key Commands, you go to Edit. It's called Note Repeat, by the way. Type Note Repeat. Um, I'm already straight with it, but you go Learn by Key Position and you type anything you want on your keyboard and that will be the shortcut. So I'm gonna hit Shift Backspace because that's what I use. this hi had a lot sweet so this is just a set this is just to set kind of the um, foundation I'm gonna by the way I'm gonna call this clap or I'm gonna call it, yeah clap I'm gonna call this hi-hats I'm gonna actually hit Command D again, and I'm gonna do, I'm gonna find a different hi-hat for the rolls. Love it. Watch how I do my hi-hat rolls, it's so stupid. So dumb, like I just fucking do it like that. I, I don't know. I just na it feels natural to me. Hi hat, hi hat rolls. I'm gonna actually pan this hi hat to the left. Bam! I'm gonna bounce that in place. Hi hat. And I'm gonna call, bounce this in place. I'm gonna call it hi hat rolls. Oh no, I want to just kind of take a little bit of the high end out. Yep, love it. Hi hat rolls. I'm going to duplicate this. Fucking move. I'm moving right now, huh? Moving fucking fast. Uh, I want to find other claps, but you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to actually go into a different drum. There we go. You know how they have those little like clap like rolls? I don't know how to explain it, but like, yeah. <laughs> That's stupid. Let me let me do those manually. I love those. <laughs> uh, we'll call them clap rolls. how the kick kind of isn't like hitting hard I'm just gonna turn the other instruments down cheat code and then it'll bring that out more we're almost done love it
actually hit the scissor. I'm going to layer this cake. Watch this. This is going to be sick, actually. Ooh. Super simple. Like, what I'm going to do. Hit that. It selects all of them. I'm going to click it. I'm going to hit the option button on my keyboard. Hits that plus sign. And then layers it. There we go. Sweet. All right. Sweet's so coming together. So what we're going to do, like, mm, I'm going to do two more things. I want to add an open hat. You know, one of those, like, oops. One of those, like, you know, like those. So we're going to add one of these little open hats. Sorry. <laughs> Fucking kidding me. All right, so let me add one of these open hats. The last thing we're going to do is add an 808. And then after, so we're going to go to bass. I'll go to, this one's the dopest one. Actually, yeah, let's do this one. And uh, I'm just going to like play a melody. Oops. That kind of matches up with one of the things we did earlier. So wait. It's kind of hard to hear it, so let me turn down everything else and turn this up a little so you can kind of hear it. simple let's EQ that super quickly cool and then let's bounce it in place <laughs> all right and let's do that same thing with this kick just quick EQ that Sweet. Bounce it in place. And same thing with the open hat. I'm just going to take down the high end a little. Maybe a little bit more. That's better. And then we'll bounce it in place. Let's do that too. Make sure to EQ the clap. Yeah, that's better. Sweet, that's pretty good actually. And then let's bounce that clap in place. Sweet, that's pretty solid. Oh cool, we didn't do that with these. EQ that. hear how it sounds with the other ones. Nice. 
And then let's hear how it sounds with the reverse. Sick. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. So here's what we're gonna do. For this video, we're gonna end it. I'm deciding, I'm gonna make a little series out of this. So this is just getting the beat started. The next video, what I'm gonna do is arrange the beat. And I'm probably gonna end up producing more drums for other parts of the song. But this is a really good start for a chorus. And um, actually, you know what I might even do is in the next video, I might record a chorus. Cause I have an idea for it. And then we'll do arrangement for other parts of it. And then maybe write the other parts, record the other parts. But this is a good uh, ending point for right now. This is how you make a beat like this. Uh, if you like the video, make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.